listen to him with your eyes. Listen to him with your heart. Listen to him as he speaks with you. And he will be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have apostatized. They have been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God, Israel. They have cried, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now, my wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Why let the Egyptians say, ah, it was in treachery that he brought them out to do them to death in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth? Leave your burning wrath, relent, and do not bring this disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your servants to whom by your own self you swore and made this promise. I will make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven, and all this land which I promised 
I will give it to your descendants, and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, your response. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They forgot the God who was their savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O oh Lord, Lord, remember, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Acclamation. Our spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Were I to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But there is another witness who can speak on my behalf. And I know that his testimony is valid. You sent messengers to John, and he gave his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light, and shining. And for your time, you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The works my father has given me to carry out, these same works of mine testify that the father has sent me. Besides, the father who sent me bears witness to me himself. You have never heard his voice. You have never seen his shape. And his word finds no home in you because you do not believe in the one he has sent. You study the scriptures, believing that in them you have eternal life. Now these same scriptures testify to me, and yet you refuse to come to me for life. 
As for human approval, this means nothing to me. Besides, I know you too well. You have no love of God in you. I have come in the name of my father and he refused to accept me. If someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe since you look to one another for approval and are not concerned with the approval that comes from the one God? Do not imagine that I am going to accuse you before the Father. You place your hopes on Moses, and Moses will be your accuser. If you really believed in him, you would believe me too. Since it was that I, that he was writing about, but if you refuse to believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel passage, Jesus points out to his hard-hearted listeners who refuse to believe in him. As true followers of Jesus, you and I are invited to believe in him, who is our way, truth, and life. Now, what really happened to the persons who believed in Jesus? From the Bible, and also from the annals of the world history, we know well that those who believed in Christ underwent a total transformation. The lives were changed once and for all. We read in the scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that those who believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. As the Father gave his only Son to the world out of his love, and so the believers of Christ become persons of love, offering themselves to God and to their neighbors. Again, we read in the Acts how they lived. They lived one in heart and mind. Further, Nothing could destroy them, for Christ took charge of their lives. This too will happen in our lives when we believe in him, especially these days. We are living through the most challenging time in the human history. If we place our faith in the Lord, we are saved, we are protected, because Jesus takes charge of our lives. The people who believed in him received healing. We read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 9, verses 6 to 8, Jesus said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your bed and go home. He rose and went home. Today again, Jesus is ready to heal us, a broken and wounded world. Let us go to him with all of our hearts and experience his healing touch and presence.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from iniquity and cleanse me. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gates, we pray, by sending down a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have all this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, our auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Apostles, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, our blessed James Alberione, Timothy Giacardo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is for ever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, a graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the love of Christ. Thanks be to God.